What was the news? Uh, uh, that's north of the beauty spot. Morning. We got Solo. We got Peeps over there. Everybody breaking down. What's left of the Cowboy TV morning show. <laughs> and we're about ready to rock and roll. There's Dob. Well, back on trail. Can't really see that, but it's sort of a neat little view. Sun's trying to break through some clouds. We were supposed to. There, oh, there was a chance of rain last night, but that never happened, thankfully. And uh, everything's nice and dry. Ooh, I just heard a tree. A guy was sawing a tree and just finally went down. Down there somewhere. So yeah, it was a great night. Had a cool evening fire, a little morning fire, and uh, as far as we're temperature is only supposed to be in the 50s today, which is fine by me. Yesterday was a little warm, 70 something, but uh, in the 50s again. There's I think there's a chance of rain periodically over the next day or so it is supposed to get a little cooler tonight like 37 ish and i'm not sure where we're going to stop tonight we're going to be stopping in the 12 to 14 mile range whatever floats our boat somewhere in there but I'm not sure there's two or three spots. Campsite, greasy gap, something or other. I don't know. All right, I'm going to put this away. We get any views going, I'll bring it out. Thanks for watching. And uh, keep the comments coming. I love it. Um, excuse me. So, have a great, what is it, Monday? Have a great Monday. I'm having a great Monday. It's a. Uh, you love hearing the birds, and uh, of course they all go quiet when the camera goes on. But um, nice morning, no breeze, digging it. I got this little up to do, and uh, um, then it should be relatively just ups and downs, no biggies. All right, guys, thanks again, and see you all later. So yeah, back on the trail. I think um, nice little field open walk. Kind of cool after not having to uh, after being in the woods so long. When you get into these fields, it's like oh wow, a wood uh, a field walk, which is kind of cool. Which is why I'm filming it. And, uh, and there's also a new feeling that slowly has been taking hold. Um, I think we gotta go up that big hill over there, mountain, whatever. Trail. Now, let's see if I see Dob back there. Uh, not yet. We'll be coming though. Um, it feels natural, normal. Um, and when you're not, it feels like uh, Abbey normal, right? This is like another one of those Sherwood Forest deals. Pretty cool. I don't know how it comes out. It's really green. If the sun was out. I don't even know the sun can get penetrate in here. Should be getting close to that first shelter. Maybe another mile.
missed it on video or I tried to take a couple still shots but I just happened to be walking on this section of the trail and I looked up and about 30 yards up there there's two three deer just staring at me tried to get the camera out as soon as I took a step back man they bolted up I don't know what made me look up there either I didn't really hear anything just one of those things all right two guesses what that clump of rhododendrons was used to hide I'm not going to give you the answer to that one later well, first nice view from elevation I like it beautiful thank you baby you'll always be my sweetheart So we stopped at a cherry, cherry knob shelter for a okay, lunch, brunch, snack break. And we were thinking about staying at this greasy, whatever the hell, hostel. But uh, from what the uh, comments say, you need a Flowers is coming out. Kind of cool. That means a lot of bugs are going to be coming out too. Can't have one without the other. Got another five miles to go. It's going to be a 16 mile day. Looks like we got a little open field trail coming up here, which is kind of cool. Oh, something about an apple orchard coming up soon, too. Go for an apple. This is not all that exciting to you guys. It's exciting for me because it's a field. So I got the top bunk. We're at Clyde Smith Shelter. I don't know if it's, I guess it's Tennessee. Or there's no privy. <laughs> so, uh, here with the silver tip. And, uh, silver tip. Hey. Yep. And it's supposed to get down to like 37 degrees. Tomorrow we're going to make it over Rowan Mountain. 
and we're going to take a detour at the Carver's Gap and into a bed and breakfast because we're spoiled like that. All right, good night, everyone. Sean was a self made woman, paid her way through college, um, became a registered nurse. She also obtained her real estate license and became a broker and owned a real estate company in the Keys in Florida with her second husband. She was unbelievably determined.